Hi and bienvenue à Ottawa. Welcome to the nation's capital. As we embark on a new year, many of us have made incredible plans. We have many goals that we have already set in motion for the year. And I just want to invite you to save just a little bit of space in your calendar for a very special event. I want you to come and celebrate International Women's Day with us. You know, the month of March has been set aside to celebrate women, to look at women's achievements, past, present, and even look toward the future. Excitingly, this year, our family of churches in Eastern Canada has come together to celebrate International Women's Day. Our faith community believes very much like Jesus did in the feminine voice. We want to highlight um, through our event a very unique feminine voice in the character of Esther in the Bible. You know, Esther was a young woman who rose to become the queen of a very powerful nation of her day. And Esther was brought to a time in her life where she had to make a choice and that choice would either determine the annihilation of her people or would determine their salvation. I want to invite you to join us on March the 7th as we look at this amazing woman, as we look at the choices that she made, and as we look at what we can learn from her incredible desire to use the time that God had given her to do great things. As we stand on the shoulders of those past, as we link arms with our sisters of today, let us position ourselves to be the shoulders of future generations. And let us do this remembering we are not alone. You know, her time, Esther's time has passed. My time is now. Your time is now. Our time is now. What will you do with the choices and the time that God has given you? Join us on March 7th at 10 a.m. for a virtual conference and really learn from these women what you can do with the time that God has given you.